What's up guys, JV2017 here, and I am back from the holiday weekend. And instead of setting off fireworks, I was feeling pretty sick the last three days. Pretty sure I had the mole rat disease or something like that. But I'm back to normal now, and I'm ready to bring you regular daily content. And I thought I'd start things off once again with a fun little video exploring the possibilities of where Fallout 5 might be going. Yes, you heard me right, Fallout 5. I know it sounds crazy, and we're probably four years away at the very least from the next mainline Fallout game. That's of course not including any potential New Vegas-like spinoffs, but it's always exciting to talk about what might come next in the Fallout franchise. So today I'm sharing my five best locations for the next Fallout based on a little bit of research I've done and just what makes sense in my opinion. I'm going to start with the five regions I think the next game will be in, and then we'll get more specific within each one, like specific cities or towns or areas within those regions. Also, these are in order from less likely at number five to more likely at number one. Once again, all in my opinion. At number five, we have the Gulf Commonwealth, which is a region obviously in the southeastern part of the United States. It's Florida, Mississippi, Alabama, and Louisiana. And this is an unexplored territory for Fallout. It's never been explored. However, it was supposed to appear in Fallout Tactics 2, but that game, of course, was canceled. It never was made. This one makes sense to me because it's a largely unexplored an unexplained area. It just literally does not have any other relevance except for being linked to the Tactics 2 game that was canceled. And of course, Bethesda does accept certain games as canon and they reject others. Fallout Tactics is a game that is rejected you know, by Bethesda. So they don't consider it part of the canon, part of their mainline games. And so that means that this kind of gives us an open hole in the Bethesda canon of Fallout and they could totally explore this. And it's one of those reasons, once again, that's within the United States that hasn't really been talked about and I don't think that Bethesda will really extend outside of the United States at least in their next game it makes sense that they would keep it within the United States it just seems more familiar in my opinion but if the next game were to be within this region I think they would probably hone in on Florida or Louisiana specifically somewhere like New Orleans is really interesting really rich culture definitely different than the rest of the U.S. that would be interesting for a fallout game and also probably Miami in Florida that would be kind of the hippest place to put the next fallout it would be interesting to explore maybe kind of a more beach kind of atmosphere, even though we do have some beaches in you know the Northeast with Boston and Massachusetts and whatnot. This, of course, would be a different kind of beach. It would be hot as hell and it would be a different atmosphere. And so I kind of like the way they handled water in Fallout 4, so I think they could come back and do it again. Maybe they won't, but this is just one of the possibilities. Next, at number four is the Texas Commonwealth, which is a larger region, including the state of Texas and also Arkansas. And so this area has actually already been in a Fallout game. It was in Fallout Brotherhood of Steel, which was a third person action RPG, believe it or not, on PS2 and Xbox. I had no idea this game existed before I started doing a little bit of research and getting into it. And so that game was placed in Carbon, Texas. That's where the setting of that game was. And so we have seen Texas in a Fallout game, even though this one was made by Interplay. A lot more of Texas was supposed to be explored in the sequel to Brotherhood of Steel called Brotherhood of Steel 2, but that of course got canceled as well. So we never got to see the rest of Texas. And so I think there's a great opportunity for Bethesda to swoop in and give us maybe more of a Western feel from them. Of course, Bethesda brought us Fallout 3. That was very much kind of a DC, you know, Northeastern feel. And then another Northeastern feel with Boston and Fallout 4. So I think it would be interesting to give us a new flavor from Bethesda within Texas. Texas is a huge region, and I think they could really pull it off. Also, this region has been mentioned in several different Fallouts, the original Fallout 2, Fallout New Vegas, and also Fallout 3 with the Mothership Zeta DLC. We had someone who was from Texas, that sheriff guy. And so we have, you know, had mention of this region. So it does exist within the Bethesda canon. So I think there's definitely a possibility that they could explore it and it could be interesting. Next at number three, and honestly, I can't decide whether this is more or less likely than number two. So keep that in mind, is the Great Midwest Commonwealth. And so this is a larger region. It describes a lot of different states in the Midwest area, but more specifically, it would be Chicago, and that's mainly because of Fallout Tactics. This is another game published by Interplay, so there are some conflicting details regarding canon. However, the game does take place in Chicago and in the Chicago area. 
Chicago is so interesting and definitely a possibility for a future Fallout game for a few reasons as well. First off, it's mentioned in several conversations by different Brotherhood of Steel members during Fallout 3 when talking about fighting super mutants or asking about where the rest of the Brotherhood of Steel is, which is like a huge hole. And there's also a whole other line referencing to a Midwest Brotherhood of Steel that really hasn't been explored by Bethesda. Next, it's also mentioned in a recording found on EDE in Fallout New Vegas, hinting at Enclave out posts found in the Chicago area. And so that's also an interesting line that a lot of Fallout 4 fans and fans of the franchise, I'm sure, are really interested in finding out more about, you know, where's the Enclave? That's kind of the big thing with Fallout 4. People are asking for the Enclave and DLC. And while right now it doesn't seem like that's going to happen, it's definitely a possibility for a future game. Now, I'm sure that's barely scratching the surface for some of you Fallout historians out there, but I think Chicago would be a really interesting place for Bethesda to explore next. And as as far as what I've read, it seems like the city of Chicago has really been destroyed from the bombs dropping in the Great War. So maybe not, you know, Chicago Central, but the surrounding tribal areas is definitely something that could be awesome to explore in the next Fallout game. The next region on my list at number two is the Eastern Commonwealth, and this includes several states, but mostly I'm pointing to Pennsylvania and New York. Within Pennsylvania, I think Philadelphia is the perfect spot to set the new Fallout game, simply because of the historical significance, and we all know how Bethesda likes to center their games around historically rich areas in, you know, American history. We have Boston, Massachusetts, of course, the American Revolution, the Boston Massacre, the Tea Party, the Minutemen, all that stuff, all those themes were in Fallout 4. With Fallout 3, we have everything in D.C. We've got the Declaration of Independence, Abraham Lincoln, Lincoln's Repeater, those, you know, countless museums and documents and all that really cool stuff. And so I think it would make sense to go to Philadelphia. And of course, it was also referenced by Abraham Washington, a character in Fallout 3. I believe he's at Rivet City at the Capital Preservation Society. And he references sending an expedition team there to recover the Liberty Bell because that was one of the only things that was preserved from the Great War in Philadelphia. We also get to see part of Pennsylvania already in Fallout 3 in the pit. Of course, that's Pittsburgh, and that's what that DLC is based on, which is in Pennsylvania. And so I don't think they would go back to Pittsburgh. Maybe it's referenced, or maybe it's another place we can explore in this Philadelphia, you know, hypothetical new Fallout game. But I think it's a possibility. And then, of course, we have New York. But there are references that this place is completely just rubbles. It's just completely flattened. There's nothing there. All those buildings are obviously probably not going to be there. They've either fallen or, you know, whatever. They were blown to hell in the Great War. And so this one is a little bit tricky, but I would love to visit New York. New York is still a really kind of compelling place. New York is also a large state. It's not just New York City. It's not Manhattan. There's a lot more to it. And so I think the region definitely should be visited at some point. My only complaint, though, with Bethesda visiting this next is that it's right next to Massachusetts. It's right next to Virginia. It's like they're only in one central location. And so if I had to give myself a counter argument, I'd say, you know what, you know, Bethesda needs to move to a different region. These are way too close to each other. We need to go somewhere else with the next game. And that brings me to my number one region, the Southwest Commonwealth, which is pretty much New California. This is a region that was largely already explored in the first two Fallout games, LA and the Boneyard, I believe it's called, in the original Fallout, and then San Francisco appeared in Fallout 2, if I'm getting my facts correct. Now, I haven't played those games, and I really need to, but I would love to revisit California with Bethesda's flavor and style in their game. Of course, we had New Vegas, which is, you know, largely Vegas. We did have the Hoover Dam in there and whatnot, but we do, I think, need to revisit California. I think that needs to be the next game. It needs to have a different flavor, kind of coming back to what I was talking about with the last region, with the Eastern Commonwealth, with Philadelphia, New York, and those ideas. I really do think Bethesda needs to branch out. They need to go to somewhere else. California just seems like the perfect region to revisit. They could have some callbacks to the old games, and I think it's a great new flavor and direction for the next Fallout game. All right, guys, that was my top five locations for the next Fallout game, but I'd like to hear from you in the comments below. Where do you want the next Fallout to go? Where do you want Bethesda to explore next? Which region? Is there a specific city? Something like that. Share all of what you're thinking in the comments below. All right, guys, today I shared my best locations for the next Fallout game, and next time we will cover more Fallout on my channel, so stay tuned for Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. If you learned something new or enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe for more DLC coverage, my survival mode live streams, Bethesda.net mods, and general tips and tricks videos. Talk to you guys next time. Peace!